Christians, guys, time for another video, and uh, uh, I know every once in a while I'll tune in, I see, uh, tune in to different YouTube videos and uh, things like MK Ultra and things that mess with people subliminally, and I'm not going to do a boring video, a bandwagon video about MK Ultra, but I've watched videos from that really uh, hot looking woman on Psyche Truth, it was, they had things on MK Ultra and how people can plant false egos and false memories in people's heads. And this video is, I'm just trying to say how it's happening and uh, some things that some of you guys ain't really looking at. Like I said, I'm not, anybody calls, tries to say I'm some long-haired hippie weirdo uh, conspiracy uh, theorist conspiracy theorist. Oh. That, uh, excuse me, I'm just trying not to laugh here because uh, there were some stupid, really good comments that people don't ask me back but anyway if you think shit like that right off the bat and make a comment in advance you could just go fuck a porcupine you know but uh yeah anyway uh but what i'm actually calling this is a new joking metaphor i don't know if it'll really uh if it'll really uh what do you call it catch on anywhere but uh and I always have planned in my head, too, uh, the Suicidal tendency song. They're fucking with me subliminally. And yes, they're fucking pe with people subliminally because it's like uh, the stupid shit uh, that how this ain't conspiracy theory that the shit people watch, they're trying to plant uh, collectively uh, emotions in people's head and make it cool to Wow, 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 you know. I'm calling it uh, a bunch of uh, boohoo voodoo. Instead of M MK Ultra, I call it uh, boohoo voodoo because it's kind of like MK Ultra. It's like subliminal at the same time, but you know how people can do it, like radio signals and TV and everything else. But you don't need the fucking radio signal and TV to do it. The TV is a part of it, but yeah, you have crowds of people, you know, whether it's school kids. Um, collectively, you know, inducing the emotion, you know. Somebody had commented on my videos, uh, if you're watching this, uh, yes, it's st street theater. But every time I think of street theater, I mean, I think of street performers, you know, like uh, people who had, you know, with drop money into a hat, you know, that's different. But yet, yes, there was a street theater associated with gang stalking, like you're so far, as far as you know, uh, some of us are concerned, you know how people try to act like you're some kind of schizoid if you uh, comment on it, or you, a lot of times we don't always say it outright, we talk to ourselves and no. You say one thing, right, you either get exaggerated somewhere and you tell so and so, you know, like sometimes you go and say something to find out, uh, to just to test those theories and see who they go tell. And soon enough, you'll have somebody out of nowhere drive by in a car that you don't know from Adam, or people walk by, and two people would be talking, and they'll be, all of a sudden, whether it's like you're talking on a phone, talking to so-and-so, or a couple people talking together about something that uh, you just happened to be talking about, or went on an area where you were at that somebody was talking about, right after you said a thing, you know, it's... Um, I mean, like you're trying to discreetly send you a message, you know, whether it's a fuck you message or a to mock you message, or like, yeah, yeah, so what kind of message, you know, everybody loves me, you know, I can say whatever I want, you know, and you're just some, if you try to say anything about it, you're just some low life or some crazy person. But some of those people get revealed for who they are too, you know, like like you see some of the different levels on TV or even in your own neighborhood. So they'll say you're crazy and once in a while you'll read that they got in some kind of trouble for whether either beating their wife or some kind of fraud or uh, accusing somebody else of being on or selling drugs and they get, they or one of their relatives that makes the news or newspaper that they got caught with drugs, you know. It's called like what my girlfriend was talking about. Uh, what we talk about parents that we had, you know, uh, projecting their uh, fears and their 
syndromes on to you, you know what I mean? There's like a type of narcissistic behavior or sociopathic behavior, and I mean, uh, it go, dovetail, that dovetails into the uh, Soundgarden song, uh, Feeling Outshined, you know, that was almost like some family members I had or my mother, you know, scream, swear, and chain smoke, but yet I'm always reading the Bible, people think you're correct about Jewish feasts, but yet they still got to chain smoke, the Bible doesn't bring them no peace, all that knowledge don't bring them no peace, it actually makes them more miserable when they got a chain smoke. Well, in some cases, you'd be seeing things on the Revelation and Apocalypse. It might make some people want to chain smoke and you see things and what they are. But like in some of my cases, you know, that you do, hey, maybe I'm some long haired weirdo. I listen to heavy metal. I got things featuring dancing and all these bands that the crazy shit I do on my YouTube, but yet I try to do good things for mankind. For whatever reason, by believing it, I want to get something fucking done too. But then you like you'd have a parent or somebody else, ex coworker. Their feeling outshines, so they want. So even if you were that good, goody two shoes, is the image with the short hair and the t-shirt and shorts, that boyish look. That's the trend now. I think the innocent boyish look is in, in with the t-shirt and shorts, the bag, whether it's the baggy t-shirt and shorts with the sleeves all the way down here and the pants below the knees you know you got that boyish look now with the short hair different from the i don't know the different stuff now that there are people trying to be badass with the clown shorts and hanging and, uh, hanging down you know on uh, uh, underwear shoe whatever the different uh, thing to them going on but you know the goody two shoes look used to be you know back in when we had catholic and christian parents the nerd shirt you know, and uh, perfect hair and the nerd that would, uh, was raised as a whip, you know, for maybe some common good to get, get, get beat up and harassed and bullied by the other kids all the time. But the innocent, but then the politicians grow up and they have this innocent looking crossover nerd thing, but the, I don't know, those, some of them have the nerd shirts look benevolent and even wearing pink so they don't look all tough but they're an authority in there but yet they do underhanded things then you get the ones the politicians and the preachers you know they want to show off a, a real fancy suit or oh, look at me now or whatever you know but 